Well, look, I think there's um, there's a huge amount of innovation and, and, and eagerness, I think, from the entrepreneur community to actually do well. I think the main challenge that we have in, 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 in South Africa, let alone in Africa, is, is a funding ecosystem, which is obviously very limited. And so you end up with a situation where little entrepreneurs end up raising money in a sort of very limited amount of capacity, and, and that level of money is not very sustainable in, in a sort of life cycle. You know, so you're going to have a six months, maybe one year longevity, and before you know it, the entrepreneurs are back into the investment bandwagon. They, they, they spend a huge amount of time raising money, you know, trying to chase their tail instead of actually focusing on, on, on the business and building a sustainable business. The, the excitement about the, the, the African space is, you know, this sort of eagerness, this can-do attitude. This, this, this ability of wanting to be on the, the international stage and, and of course this is hindered by a limited uh, investment pool. You know, the, 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 the funding, the lack, the lack of funding is, 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 is the, the main prohibitor to growth. And when you do find funding, you find it usually it's on the, uh, the, the sort of the low end um, of, of, the, of the spectrum. And those investors essentially, the, so the entrepreneurs spending a huge amount of time, you know, fundraising continuously because that investment hasn't essentially allowed for, you know, enough sustainability in terms of time. Six, six months, maybe 12 months worth of, of cash flow. And then they, they run out, then they end up to go back to the table saying we need more money. And so you end up in this situation where the investors spend most of their time fundraising instead of building you know, a business.